how to hire a management Airbnb management company for your next investment property or if you're looking to get into rental arbitrage you want to make sure that a you don't have time you don't have the knowledge and obviously you fancy creating yourself a opportunity you know a hands-free opportunity by hiring a right Airbnb management company so guys welcome to another grow Airbnb video I think I've had enough conversation with people over the years on either people messaging me and going Pierce I've been let down by my management company now before I do that and I think I've worked with a lot of bigger management company in the UK two of my biggest client had over 100 properties in the UK and Dubai and Look, I can only speak by experience, but also I want to talk about how to become a sophisticated investor because at the end of the day, guys, look, you can't just blame the management company for not performing. You as an investor sometimes can potentially pick up the wrong property, pass it over to a management company and the management company are looking at you as a number because they just want to pick up a number and eventually the whole thing turns out to be a mess. So look, a lot of time I've had this conversation with different people all over the world. I want to make sure that you understand this three things that's going to allow you to make sure that A, you're being a sophisticated investor, knowing exactly what you're doing, but secondly, you're hiring the right management company to make sure the right outcome is going to come to you. Now, firstly, two things here um, as an investor, you, you, you know, you've got to really do. Now, first thing, if you're looking to manage to hire a management agent, please make sure your due diligence, the way you're actually about to secure a unit, needs to be 110%. Please do not go by what a management company says they can potentially you know, get for your property. Now, don't get me wrong, with experience like me, I've worked in X amount of locations, so I can say, if somebody says to me, oh, here's, you know, what do you think about this location? If I've worked in there, and I've worked a few times, like places like Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester like location like that I've worked with numbers of properties right in like at least 30 40 in per location and for me I can easily say what they are what we've done for clients um having said that like a lot of time thinking about and from an investor perspective if you're a new investor you're you know you definitely want to invest on it now I'm thinking more from a rent to rent market which is a rental arbitrage right so if you're renting a property turning into a short-term rental and then passing it over to a management company because you want to become hands-free look first thing is make sure you know and understand your due diligence the second thing I want to talk about is when you're now thinking about your investment please make sure you're thinking about the whole three years terms if that's what you've agreed with the you know the, the landlord or the rental agreement you've got to look at the investment as a three years and not investment for the next three months on how you're gonna make your management agent perform because at the end of the day your three months performance don't get me wrong you can't create loss all the time but you can't just solely rely on them to understand and make you those money so if you've got a due diligence if you've gone and done the right numbers you understand everything about the market in your investment area then when you hand it over to them it's going to be a lot more mutual conversation now I'm also going to talk about, you know, in this video, how to hire them and where the three things that you must look at before you agree to work with them. So in my journey, um, you know, I've worked with Jamie and I remember his, his story as well, you know, gave it to um, a, a management company and, you know, absolutely failed. Um, but he didn't want to give up the unit because obviously he had an agreement with the landlord for X amount of years, um, had no choice, wanted to take the unit back. Uh, great move while he was like giving a hand handing his notice period with the management company he came and worked with me and eventually we got them um, you know the first month we got them a monthly booking so same property different uh, strategy styles and uh, you know we get them a monthly booking their management company has never made the money uh, completely different this is purely because we know how to get good bookings we understand how to get bu good bookings right but at that point when I asked Jamie what you know what was the reason why he was like hey, I didn't have the knowledge secondly he was based in Belfast the property was in Slough which you know like it's eight nine hours journey wasn't feasible that's probably why so again you know there's reason to use management company but also there's understanding how to use them and how to maximize uh, them to work for you so firstly you know I want to sure I want to talk about the the first thing which is understanding tip number one is understanding their direct booking numbers right 
Remember guys, if you're looking to invest on Airbnb or short term rental property, you can effectively purchase a property today, you know, obviously do it up in the right standard, but list it on Airbnb and Booking.com. I've done a video on how to create a Booking.com account. I've done a video on how to create an Airbnb listing. You can literally watch those videos and go and create a listing and it's easy as that. But then that's not gonna, you know, if you're hiring a management company, you wanna really understand what their direct booking numbers are because if they're saying oh we're you know less than 10 percent on direct booking that's no good especially if they've got x amount of you know numbers of properties in their management books that shows me that they're not actively looking for business they're just waiting for properties to be filled using the ota method um so something that i want to talk about here is understand their direct booking numbers now i don't at the moment have a certain strategy numbers that i'm going to recommend you but by, by understanding how passionate they are about direct bookings understanding how you know they they want to achieve those direct bookings or just look at the calendar if they can explain you on calendar how many properties currently are set and direct where did that direct booking comes from come from is it through the phone emails you know website or is it through like a channel manage uh, uh, tra other travel agents like you know city silver talk customers direct still um you know or is it referral is it customers that book from ota first or so numbers of things that that comes in direct bookings just make sure you understand them but if they're really passionate enough about direct bookings like we are um obviously we don't offer management but just again for your understanding that if you want to get your own direct bookings, there's a way, there's numbers of way we work around strategy, but make sure that you also understand how your management company are working for it. Number two, you can just go and check their reviews and just recommendation really. Look, at the end of the day, I, t I talk about two things again, you know, when I when I spoke to different clients all over the, over the years, I've asked them, look, when you hired this, hired this management company, um, I asked them, look, did you check their reviews? Did you see what their downfall was? Because a lot of time it could be just operational downfall. I've seen a lot of time with my bigger management clients that I've sat down with them and physically told them, you've got a great strategy now to get you bookings. You've also got a great after service, which after the guest checks out, um, you know, how to ask them reviews, communication, check out process. Blah. But what about the experience in between, right? If you've got, over 50 property i you know if they don't have somebody within the business who does not you know guest communication for me is not a guest experience a guest of communication is just you know communicating with your guest having a guest experience manager or somebody within that business who looks after the experience of your client during their stay that's going to make your property perform better long term right so please make and that's going to reflect on the reviews that you're you're going to get in your business or potentially reviews they've already got in their previous property so again something that i would highly recommend is make sure you understand their reviews understand how they're managing their reviews are going to allow you to attract those good bookings because at the end of the day you can have a property get the first bad review and then you will start struggling to get those good bookings come to you and the third tip is the process and the system. Look, well, I've talked about why, you know, in, in different videos, why pro having a good process, acting it as a business uh, is very important. Look, again, the the time I've seen a lot of lot, lot of bigger company fail or started failing, you know, I've seen big companies in the UK have, that's gone burst out. And, you know, I can, I can only judge by what they've achieved or how they've gone through scaling their business because look, in social, if you if you are actively on YouTube and you know, Facebook and stuff, you're looking at different people, what you're gonna see is that it's all good in that people talk about, oh, I've just picked up keys or we, you know, we've picked up a block to manage this property. But sometimes they don't have no process to maintain those properties, right? As well as maintain the guests. So, one of the biggest thing is you've got to understand the process now in in direct bookings especially where you're getting bookings we've got 16 step process to make sure that those property performs from the time somebody inquires your prop about your property not even booking inquiry where did those inquiry go how many times does somebody follow up so you know in our process we have clients going to follow up process um, a dead lead can then turn into a potential conversion by just doing that follow-up. Then they move into like the paid 
like we've got literally a system that we've created for our clients. Um, understanding that from a management perspective is very, very important because at the end of the day, look guys, you might be amazingly good at finding great deals. You might be amazing good at finding great properties at the end of the day if they don't make it perform for you because eventually your goal might be actually, my job is I want to scale, 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 be hands-free, let the management take you know, 15, 20%. If they can get you 80% off the bookings, let's say for argument's sake, through their direct booking system, 20% through channel manager, um, from, from OTA, yes, you are in a great, you know, great place, because then that way the, 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 the property is gonna work for you. If not, you're gonna pay 15% to your OTA, 18%, whatever that is, then pay another 15% to a management company so your margin's gone down by 30% already. So again, something like that is gonna make a massive impact on the long-term side of your business. Guys, look, hiring a property manager, Airbnb manager for your vacation rental, Airbnb, short-term rental property, whatever you call it, whatever industry you are in, like US or UK. And the reason why I say this is it's so important that I've seen this people coming, you know, I get a lot of people coming back to me going, I made a wrong decision by hiring. And again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, it could be you having, you know, not doing the right dude. I've seen people doing that, you know, gone and picked up a one bed apartment in the middle of a city center where there's another thousand units and then passed it over to an, you know, a management company to say, hey, like, can you make it work? Um, effectively, look, what management company doing are, they're charging you before paying you so which means they still make their money by you know by every sell whereas in your case you're looking to make break even and make profit so guys i hope you enjoyed another grow your bnb video i've you know i've tried my best to kind of give you those main three things that you require to have a successful or hire a successful airbnb management company for your properties please make sure you hit that like subscribe and share and we'll be back with another video soon